Here we go. Ed's case. Number four, maybe Bobby Orr. I guess we'll find out. Stay tuned. Right after these messages. Running out of uh, table room for cup. It's okay. That is a good problem to have. Thank God I got some cup in this week. I was running very low. Now, once again, I am also running very low. <laughs> I got to save some for 14000 Coming uh, March 28th. We've got a 249 Jordan Bennington. Paul, no, those are not. Those are right now near Paul. I'm hoping next week I might be getting more clear cut. Hoping. 249 Brandon Gignac. So, Brandon, again being candid on stuff like cup clear cut anything we can probably always get a bit more it's just a matter of how much you want to pay more that's pretty much the state of the market right now that's a nice start i like this number four of 35 scripted swatches quinn Quinn Hughes. Not a bad start. Enshrinements Auto. Casperi Kapanen. Casperi Kapanen. We've got a 70. Oh, one off his jersey number again. Inked insignias. Joel Faraby. Every sells like crazy. And he's also performing very well. That would make sense. Joel Farabee. And we've got, okay, a one of one rookie printing plate. Joel Farabee. That might be one of the best overall packs I've ever seen of this. Not necessarily dollar value, but like. A Quinn Hughes, a Farabee Auto, and a Farabee 101 printing plate. Who's our RPA? Wow. Wow. I, I would think that a Quinn Hughes is a case hit, but I have been surprised before, so we will uh, find out. Maybe we've had a what? We had a double Makar Auto case. So I'm going to call, we're going to have a double Quinn Hughes auto case. You can't have one without the other. I opened this pack way differently than I opened the other ones. So I feel like that's, uh, that's a good sign. Something is going to happen differently now. And we start with the Giroux. So that's either a very good thing or a bad thing considering Ashley like Giroux. So, Brandon, I would think the Quinn Hughes would be the case hit. But let's all hope for Ed's sake. Why not? That is not. 249 Giroux. Might as well wish for the best, right? Giroux. 249 Red Gardner. Rookie patch auto, Red Gardner. We've got a Splendor Rookie Patch Auto, Ilya Makayev. Splendor Rookie Patch Auto, Ilya Makayev. We've got Inked Insane. 
insignias number to 25 Mario Lemieux. Mario Lemieux inked insignias. That's not bad. <coughs> Mario Lemieux. We've got a Pro Corcoran rookie patch. Nicolai for Corcoran and a Shesturkin draft class 249. Woo! Two very solid boxes to start. title. Did they win by uh, like 10 goals again? 249 Nikita Gusev New Jersey 249 Gusev Oh yeah Number to 24 Autographed rookie gear, Ryan Paling. They won 6 2. Let me guess, four points, McDavid? Autographed rookie gear, Ryan Paling. Brilliant rookie auto, Dominic Kobalik. Guess. Dominic Kubalik. Three points. That's a terrible night for him. Number to nine, 249, Zach Senishin. Don't know how many Senishins we are at now, but that's probably about five. And we have 249, Tauro Herosi. How much was Cup going before COVID? Depending on what Cup you're aiming for. Cup in general is a continuous up spike. So every day, the le the the le like when more cup gets purchased, the more expensive it's going to start being. This cup in probably six months, in my opinion, will be about seventeen hundred to twenty two hundred dollars a tin. It's just going to be the natural progression of how it works. It's going to keep going up. It ain't going down. So that is the truthful, sad reality. It's exactly like 15, 16, 16, 17 cup. It just keeps going up. Now that's obviously a bit different because you have absolute monster names. How much was 2015 on release? If I remember correctly, I think 649, maybe 699. So considering that's around 7,000 a tin now, and only going up, 249 Volkov. It is very hard to find that. I, that's why I also keep it only for the big group breaks. That's a sexy patch. 249 Rookie Patch Auto, Victor Olofsson. Victor Olofsson. That is a gorgeous looking patch. That is a gorgeous looking patch too. 19 of 24 autographed rookie gear, Adam Fox. Like to me, the way the hobby's going is that by now, 
it'll be the lowest price it'll be. That's pretty much how it's working. Brilliant autograph of Cam Neely. I remember when I was talking to somebody about Cup when 15 16 Cup was 4000 they're like it's overpriced it ain't going to go higher. Then it got 5000, then 6, now 7. Kirby Doc trilaterals to 33. Trilaterals. And I guarantee you it's a matter of time before it gets to 10,000 a tin. This is just how it's going to be. And we've got number 99, Rajulov Signature Patches. I saw it in basketball. You know, people who waited and waited and waited, they just, they kept losing out. You're, you're, buy early on. It's the smartest thing. Honestly, it really is. I honestly think 15, 16 cup will be around 10,000 to 10. I bet you by year's end. Number one, it is insanely rare. And number two, McDavid's are not going to slow down. So people, I think as McDavid's keep rising, so will cup. I, I predict it'll be 10,000 to 10. Hell, it's already 7,000. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. A smart investment, honestly, right now in uh, in the hobby is to hold some high end product. Okay, Han, I'm not gonna get overly excited because I don't want to like get myself going. But a black border card is that not normally a one of one? I am praying I am correct on it, but I'm pretty sure it's a black border. Not normally, I might be shooting myself very quickly on that. 249 carry price, but I am really hoping so. 249 for the doesn't matter the team, Andrew Peak. Andrew Peak. 249. We've got an overshadow. Rookie Patch Auto, Dominic Kubalik. I do remember, I think there's three cards, I believe, that were black borders. 101 Auto Rookies, Exquisite Shields, and I think the Etchings. If I remember correctly. Kubalik, that's actually a big card too. We've got a Signature Renditions. Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane. I'll do the back card. And a Zadina. Let's see what it is. And I don't see it in either. Oh, okay. I think I know. Yeah. Oh, sick. We've got number 11 of 15. Championship etchings, Colton Pareko. First one of these I've opened this year. Pareko etchings out of 15. Those are cool. Those are cool. All right, one box left. One lonely box left. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> I had probably just as much as you did, Ed. Thank you. 249, Sydney Crosby. 
249 a rookie patch auto. Loyster Reinen. Loyster Reinen. And that's a bit of foreshadowing there. Numbered to 36. Splendor Patch Auto. Sydney Crosby. Hard signed Sydney Crosby. Well, I guess the uh, Quinn Hughes was a secondary, and somehow a Lemieux is a third, but why not? That is a nice finish. Why not? Just add this card that's also a several hundred dollar card, right? Number to 36, Gold Rookie Auto, Joel Farabee. Like, why not? Just toss that one right after it. Joel Farabee. We've got number to 33, as my voice goes, Bogfist. Bogfist. 33. And we've got a 249 Cody Glass. There you go, sir. Number to 33. 